Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here. If you're a 90s baby like me, you might remember your first trip to the Wildwoods like this. You came down the parkway, you got into Wildwood Boulevard, which is a street behind me, and while you're waiting for the George Redding Bridge to close because it was open to let the boats in and out, you would sit right across here and stare across to this monster of a gorilla right over here. This behind me used to be the home to the Islander Family Fun Park, and it's been abandoned for some time. And I want to go ahead and give you guys a quick little drone tour of the area. Before we get started, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And just a heads up, we just received all of our Christmas ornaments in with a couple other ones coming in a few weeks, but the new one for this year is Santa riding in and rowing in the Wildwood Lifeguard boat. We also brought back Santa driving the tram car, and in a few weeks we'll have more bags, we'll have a seagull ornament, and one of my favorite new Christmas ornaments is going to be Santa pushing the ice cream cart. Obviously we made this one because the ice cream man, fudgy wudgy man himself, Joe Duncan, aka Dunk, has retired, so this is going to be a limited edition one, so stay tuned for that. First opening in 1996, the Islander Family Fun Park was unlike any amusement park in New Jersey. While in Wildwood, Dinosaur Beach and Maury's Piers had more common rides like roller coasters, flat rides, and ferris wheels, the Islander Family Fun Park had extreme rides like bumper boats, helicopter rides, go-karts, and a slingshot. Located at the foot of the George Redding Bridge, many didn't consider this part of Wildwood since it was off the island. But maps still even going to today indicate that yes, this is indeed still a part of the Wildwoods. Before this land was considered the Islander, a smaller amusement park once called it home. This park only had one go-kart track and some water slides at the higher end of the property. Next to the property was a trailer park with access to the bay via these docks sitting at the back. And on the very backhand corner was the main feature of this entire property. It was a 313 foot tall radio tower, and still to this day, no one knows what broadcasted from it. Fast forward to 1995, and the owner wanted to compete with the success that the peers were getting on the island. They invested heavily into developing the land behind the original location. According to their 1996 brochure, they added in six go-kart tracks, batting cages, bumper boats, and the largest 18-hole mini-golf in South Jersey. But really, what drew folks into the amusement park wasn't any of that, it was the 20-foot tall gorilla out front. This gorilla named George was a roadside attraction that sat in the middle of the kids' mini go-kart track. And what made this kind of unique was the fact that it had two giant slides coming out of his chest. George had a strange history. The original price of building George was $50,000 and it was made in Spain. Once completed, it was shipped over by boat and supposedly, and I don't have any proof on this at the moment, it made its way onto the Wildwood Boardwalk on one of the piers. If anyone has any photos, please let me know because I can't find this anywhere. Now back to the Islander. This space was a massive plot of land. It was roughly the size of all of the piers on the boardwalk put together. This allowed them to offer more room for their main attraction, the go-karts. Their opening year brochure highlighted their massive tracks by saying this, quote unquote, they offer more tracks in one location than anywhere in the state of New Jersey, giving drivers of all ages the best choice possible. Unfortunately, the Islander wasn't a great choice since in 1999 the business sold. New management removed some of the attractions, such as the helicopters, bumper boats, and slingshot to save on cost, but it didn't save the business. By 2002, the park was abandoned and Mother Nature was starting to take the land back. The bumper boat pools became a haven for the birds, the mini golf caves became a home for cats, and the pristine go-kart tracks, well, they started falling apart. But the only thing that was there kind of protecting the property was good old George, who unfortunately went tumbling down in 2002 during a massive storm. The fiberglass that kept him together split at his knees, causing him to collapse. 
But don't feel bad for George because in 2004 he was saved and he is still a roadside attraction at Mighty Joe's Gas Grill in Delhi on Route 206. It may be the only real piece of the park that remains today. The rest of the park has been empty and abandoned since 2002. Most of its buildings are now falling down, only leaving behind the fun memories that once graced the land. Join us as we use our drone to explore this abandoned theme park and see how the wildlife has taken over the fun. I do want to point out to you in that video where the water feature was, you could tell that is definitely an area where a lot of wildlife grows. You saw a crane. I do know that there had been a lot of ducks over there in different seasons, so you can actually see duckweed floating on top. You can see what looks to be a mini golf course on top, like a little cave, something like that. But unfortunately, it looks like most of the stuff is fully abandoned. And as of right now, at the timing of this video, there are no plans to do anything with this. I know. Back in 08, 09, this was gonna become condos with docks and that way you can bring your boats in, which let me tell you, would probably be the perfect thing to put in this area. But I wanna thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications and give this video a thumbs up. And a special thank you out to my patrons on patreon.com. It's because of them I get to do fun videos like this. If you too wanna support this channel and have your name at the end of the video, all you have to do is click the links in the description below. Anyway, I'm Joey, as always, I'll see you on the beach, which is right over there. See you later, bye.